deep seek wherever you see these days you must be hearing this term called deep seek and people often saying that deep seek is more powerful than chat gpt more efficient than chat gpt and results are proving that so deep seek is a chinese version of open ai we can say they have recently released a model called r1 where it is showing that i mean the results and the experiments have shown that it is more efficient and quick than chat gpt cloud and other llms in this video like i will share what actually deep seek is i hope to use deep seek like i have created my account on deep seek i'm excited to test this platform and i'm going to compare chat gpt and deep seek and we'll show you whether deep seek is more powerful or not like i'm also curious to know this i'm uh, testing it on live i am going to ask three different types of uh, questions to chat gpt and deep seek and we'll find out which one is more efficient and one good thing is deep seek is free like even chat gpt has some limitations for free users we need to subscribe to pro or premium uh, to access some uh, pro futures but deep seek is free everyone can use uh, deep seek for free now let me test that but i want to divide my testing into three, three different categories the first thing is normal questions like basic questions let's suppose i'm asking a uh, chat gpt how to uh, plan for a three-day trip from hyderabad to maybe dehradun i'm just asking it in within uh, maybe 20k inr budget so this is what i'm asking it i'm i'm copying this question let's see what chat gpt have in store for us uh, for this i'm i'm using chat gpt is like one of the most efficient model o1 you can choose between uh, many models as well but yeah i'm asking chat gpt to give me a plan for a three day trip from hyderabad to defraden so meanwhile like it is taking some time meanwhile i will also post this question on uh, deep seek as well pt takes around 59 seconds and it asked for my confirmation considering like how it's going to do that okay 59 seconds is not bad because i'm asking the entire itinerary for my trip and it's giving me some options like uh, travel options like what are the different options available and direct times take long time so it's good for a flight trip and it's also breaking down budget flight 10 to 12k accommodation 2 to 4k local transport plus food plus activities 4 to 5k buffer 1 to k enough or unexpected the distribution should keep okay choosing accommodation it's suggesting some areas as well and what to do on day one what to do on day two what to do on day three hmm, that's the same thing again okay this is good i mean for for at least like someone who is not aware of the trip planning this is good let's see what uh deep seek has in store for us it gave me in just 46 seconds so it is quick uh it's clear that deep seek is more quicker than chat gpt one thing is it has shared all the thinking behind suggesting something to me so it's all the thinking behind giving me the output now let's see the actual output it gave me straight forward like day one uh what i can do day two what i can do day three what i can do budget breakdown the table is looking good and tips to save money it's more straight to the point i can say because it has done all the thinking in the back end but yeah it's good i like this like for general brainstorming or travel planning i feel deep seek has some edge now let's try some other things uh i will ask general questions like so in a cricket match in a 20 over cricket match the team a batted first and scored 180 runs or unscored 180 for 8 in how many overs the team b should chase the target so that they can win with plus 
five net run rate. So this is what I'm asking. So I'm asking a 20 over match if team A batted first and scored 180 for 8 in how many overs that team B should chase the target so that they can win with positive 1.5 net run rate. So it's like a cricket match calculation. I want to test the analysis skill of uh, chart GPT and DeepSeek here. I, I will just paste the same question in DeepSeek as well. GPT takes around 1 minute 11 seconds to give this information. It gave me something like this another for team B. Okay, how net trended is calculated and all. And finally, it gave me okay. So the team B should chase in 17.1 overs to, so that they can cross that 1.5 run rate. So this is the output, and yeah, it's okay. Not really complex. Now let's see the response from Deep Seek. It only uh, takes around 50 seconds, so it's impressive. And it gave me all the thinking that DeepSeek has done uh, before giving us the solution, before, before giving us a response. So this is impressive because like it's thinking like a human. It's not thinking like an AI. So we can see, okay, the analysis behind uh, the thinking. And it gave us the formula as well. It gave the formula and it also suggesting, okay, if team B scores in 17.1, then the run rate become 1.55. If they took 17.2 then 1.45 it also is sharing exact decimal values and all so it's suggesting in the end like if team b scores 18 181 in 17.1 then they can cross plus 1.55 it's good like it's more detailed so that is something that i liked about deep sick but in this case like uh, like both are both are same also the speed it only took around 50 seconds for so people who are using api then they love deep sick because speed is the key here and like i will try one more thing to see which one is really best i'm just opening google trends you can also experiment it google trends is a platform where you can see the trends of particular keyword across the search engines let's suppose i am just uh, maybe a keyword called apple iphone I want to know how the term Apple iPhone is trending in India. Uh, I don't want past 12 months. I just want past 30 days. So this is the data like number of average searches per day according to Google Trends. So you can download it. There is an option like you can download it as in CSV file. Now I will open chart GPT. So I will uh, select the file downloaded file. And I will ask chart GPT to give me a chart. So this is the search history trends for the keyword Apple iPhone for the last 30 days in India. Can you give me appropriate chart to visualize this so this is what i am asking chart gpt and i will ask the same uh, to deep seek as well i'll just upload this and now i'm just clicking it i'm asking the same to chart gpt and uh, deep seek so chart gpt is taking some time to uh, do its analysis you can also see the analysis behind it it's writing some python code in the background so one one future that i loved about chart gpt is this specific thing okay now it gave me the chart so it's good like it is showing the day-to-day -day data for the last 30 days of apple iphone uh, shares so i just downloaded this specific thing like this is also a chart i downloaded the data and the data would look something like values that's it if i ask chart gpt to visualize the chart then ultimately uh, yeah it's good now let's see the response from deep seek as well deep seek uh, took around 32 seconds and it gave me suggestion like okay the line chart or time series chart would be most effective it gave me i mean the data and some observations from the data that i have uploaded but it uh, it never gave me 
the chart the image of the chart like it gave me the python code behind it which is also done by chart gpt and it's also showing me like use this data to represent a chart so with this i can uh, conclude that for most of the things deep seek is for most of the things that we do with chart gpt deep seek is able to do that but at least for data analysis i still believe chart gpt has upper hand because one of the reason why i have subscribed to uh, chart gpt's premium version is uh, the for the data analysis one even though deep seek unable to provide me an image but still i'm impressed with the way deep seek has provided me responses in very quick time and if we can use the deep seeks api capability then ultimately we can do that because deep seek is like open source one not like closed source anyone can access the code base of deep seek we can uh, easily perform api calls and all and it is cheaper as well because the computing time used by deep seek is much cheaper than chat gpt which is the reason why nvidia stocks have been fallen uh, since the announcement of deep seek because like we don't need high end computing power and gpus to run deep seek models so deep seek is going to create some wonders in the ai space for sure but so it is chinese model so that's the only red flag because people consider multiple times before uh, subscribing or providing data to chinese models so that's the only area maybe uh, deep seek has still something to do with but yeah deep seek is good like it's really outperforming open ai in many different use cases so try your luck you can also try deep seek for free now so it's available so try your inputs and let me know in the comments like what you feel is more valuable for you and again deep seek is available for free now so that's one advantage as well i hope you find this video helpful thank you for watching